This tutorial is to discuss a Python program to find the reverse of a number using a function. The function definition starts with a keyword def followed by the function name. The name of the function which we have used in this program is reverse. It takes one parameter. The name of the parameter is n. The function body starts with a keyword colon. Now to find the reverse of a number, we use two variables d and rev. d is used to store each digit we extract to find the reverse of a number and rev is used to store the reverse. For example, if the value of n is 1, 2, 3, 123, while finding the reverse, first time we need to extract a digit as 3. That will become the first digit after the reverse. The second time the d value should be 2. And third time the value of d should be 1. And by concatenating all these three values, 3, 2 and 1, we get the reverse of 123 which will be 321. For doing the purpose, we use a while loop. As long as the value of n is greater than 0, we repeat the loop. The first statement d equal to n mod 10 is used to extract the last digit. And the next statement n equal to n divided by 10 which is used to find out the quotient after the division. For example, during the first division 123 divided by 10, the new n will become 12. And by successively adding the digits into the reverse variable, by shifting the existing reverse into the tenth place, and the digit will get added to the first place of the number. The loop will get repeated as long as the value of n is greater than 0. And the REV variable finally returns from the function, which is a reverse of the variable n. Outside the function definition, from the user, a value has been taken and it has been stored into the variable x. The function has been called by using the function name reverse and the value x has been passed to the function. The return reverse from the function gets stored into the variable r. Using the print method, we display the value of both x and r. The x is the number and r is the reverse. Now in this case it is showing an infinite number because it goes inside an infinite loop because the n is a floating value. So for typecasting we have to make int int of n divided by 10 so that when we divide 123 divided by 10 we get only the quotient which is 12. Run and see the program output. 